co-worker, we like Cubo, Dragon Tales, and Barney. And none of your kids know about that. That's why some of y'all kids are some brats. Y'all give them kids whatever they want and y'all need to stop. Y'all need to raise them how you was raised. Y'all parents didn't give you everything. If your parents did give you everything, it's everything that you need. It's everything you need. Not like he said, not everything you want because you know, some of y'all just love y'all kids too much. And I, I understand they're, they're not beautiful. Not about the love. It's just, it's, it's the, um, basically turning that, yo, listen, bro. You have to get it out the mud. You got to basically humble and your even kids. when you do get it out the mud, you got to be humble. You know what I'm saying? And respectful. If you get disrespected, I understand. You feel like you need to be disrespected somebody. You know what I'm saying? A disrespect, it could be a misunderstanding. You don't even know that. You feel me? And they don't pay attention and care less who they figure out if it's just a misunderstanding. Yeah. So, so yeah, right back. See, I appreciate my childhood so much. Not having a lot. Three years old, using the coloring book. Now y'all putting y'all kids on iPads. They be on iPads for like hours, like four hours straight. Then they go play for like another three. Like, y'all gotta limit that. Especially if it's not teaching them how to trace letters and alphabets and help them learn. Yeah. Next two weeks, I'm going to manifest. I'm going to have my own apartment, a second car, um, what else? I manifest. The third thing, because you always should manifest three things. Oh, best health in my mind, spirit, and soul. But yeah, that conversation about like cool, because I was just, I was realizing like if you was like a kid and you used to watch TV and you didn't have cable, tell me we, we watch either you know Sesame Street. Dragon Tales, if it was a Dragon Tales, Barney, or, um, and, um, what you call it, Cubo, Cubo, some people, children are not raising on that, and that's, like, I see a lot of kids, like, I don't know, they like to bite other kids, or bite people, I don't know where they're getting that from, or, like, being that mind stage, like, everything is mind. But I think I learned from Barney. That's why, like, sharing is caring. I don't know. Like, I really like those TV shows because it really teach them how to share. Like, there's something on Netflix. There's Baby Shark. And then there's another one where these kids have these big round heads. And they count. And they, they tell you what look like a circle or a square. Which is smart. But I want something more for the children of our generation. Like a show that, that brings them, tells them about caring. Like Blue's Clues was a good one. Because sometimes I'm concerned of the younger generation. Because I understand parents can like love their kids a lot. And sometimes your kids don't need toys. Sometimes they really need discipline. Like you could show them all the love and affection. But, you know, kids could take that for granted. Like mommy and daddy would give me whatever I want because they love me so much and I'm their angel I'm their baby I could do nothing wrong but um because I had a weird day with people kids today but I'm glad I this that day happened because it, it really sh showed me how much I appreciate my childhood of watching TV with no cable but being able to watch Cubo and Dragon Tales and you know I'm pretty sure people could relate to this. Like, can you imagine 20 years from now, people ain't gonna even remember Barney or Dragon Tales or freaking Sesame Street? Like, they gonna be like, what was Sesame Street? What? That was the show. <sighs> Especially Cubo, that was the real show. But. I also just want to manifest just to show myself that manifestation has power and you know that's that's basically what I'm doing trying to manifest myself to show that things can happen the unbelievable the unpredictable the the great
greatness done possible. Because, like, I remember this famous lady that passed away. She always said, impossible have I'm possible. It may not have, like, the comma by the I am, but I am possible. So she always lived life like nothing's impossible is possible. And always be positive. So try to do something. It's like three months left of this year. And, you know, I accomplished a lot. Got me a car, got me a job, saving my money, investing in stocks that I wanted to, like real estate. So for the next three months, if, you know, you just trying to break a habit of not smoking, um, working out, or being positive, do that. Cause next year is a whole 2022. Like it's all about making resolutions that you're gonna actually stick to and actually get done.